Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. You are not the only one that's scared. The connection scares me too. So you may be feeling, if you do resonate as being the Divine Feminine, um, that you have had to be very brave, that you've carried this, um, maybe mostly alone, um, that you might feel that your Divine Masculine has been doing a lot of running, um, and that you have had to hold space and stay strong, even though you at times have wanted to run or show that you have been overwhelmed by this or afraid yourself. I daydream about being the mother or father of your children. So this, you know, maybe, maybe you want to have children with your um, divine masculine, or maybe um, you both have children and you think about bringing them together, um, or if they have children, you know, being a family with them. Okay, we have, I feel so alone. Why did you abandon me? Um, I've come to realise that I am not more awakened than you. You are awake too. Wow, so the Divine Feminine could be feeling like the Divine Masculine has been making some good strides with their um, Ascension Awakening. Um, okay, so let's see what the Divine Masculine has to say. Lots of things apparently let's see let's take all of these okay um i want you to trust me trust that i will know the right time to take things to another level i've been hurt so badly i don't know if i can really love again with this message coming out there's a feeling of them wanting you to know that however they have been if they've been guarded or holding back it hasn't been personal um and maybe that's a problem for you because you're saying, well, this connection should have been personal. Your actions, reactions to me should have been based on me personally and how I have shown up. I respect that you've been hurt, but I am also scared, as this message said, you know, and I base my um, reactions on you and you alone, not my past. So there could be something of that going on. Um, you may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. I am angry with you, but really I am angry at myself, okay? And we have, um, I really didn't think we were compatible at first, I see that we are now. This is very interesting. I feel that um, for many of you there's been some distance time separation because we have, that the Divine Feminine might be recognising or suspecting that the Divine Masculine is having some awakenings, realisations, growing in some way, changing in some way, and the Divine Masculine is, is agreeing, saying, Actually, um, at first I didn't think we were compatible, but now I'm seeing actually you're perfect for me. Um, I thought I was angry with you, but actually you were reflecting things about myself that I didn't like. I was angry with myself. So, yeah, there has been some, some growth and some changes that have happened. Um, okay, I do feel the Divine Masculine is still working on not being afraid in this connection based on whatever they have experienced in the past. Um, and it seems to me there are plans, you know, to take some action here, to move this forward, but feeling like they will know when the time is right. Okay, so let's leave these cards out um, and see, see where we go. Where's the deck? Here we are. So let's start then with the Divine Feminine. What's going on with the Divine Feminine this week? Whenever the week is that you are watching this. So I'm looking at this, I've been hurt so badly, don't know if I can love again, and then the Divine Feminine message of I'm scared too. I, I feel to a degree the Divine Masculine has been so consumed with their um, experiences and, and pains and wounds and, and fears around relationships and connections and that sort of thing, that they've not necessarily considered the things the Divine Feminine may have been through. Um, and I don't think it's coming from an entirely selfish place, I think. The Divine Masculine has just been so consumed with their own fears that they've not taken a moment to think, actually, what if the Divine Feminine has also been through, you know, painful things in connections or relationships, and maybe is also afraid or would also understand where I'm coming from. 
Okay, so what's going on with the Divine Feminine at this time, please? Five of Cups reversed, Page of Cups in reverse. So maybe stepping into more of a healing energy, um, finding hope within this connection again, feeling um, that yes, things have happened, there have been disappointments, but feeling regardless, you know, this, this person, this Divine Masculine is my person. Um, Page of Cups reversed, could be feeling like, yes, their inner child has been wounded here, wanting maybe communication to hear from their Divine Masculine or to say something, but, but you know, not getting that communication just yet or not feeling like it's the best time to say something, to reach out. There's a feeling of doing this internal um, healing and focusing on basically themselves either because they think that's what they need right now and it's the best time or because it's like well I can't reach out or I shouldn't reach out so I'm going to, to focus on myself and my inner work and taking care of myself right now we have the six of swords reversed seven of wands reversed wow eight of cups reversed wow for some divine feminines there's a feeling here of maybe at one point having completely written this off and been like you know what this is too much I can't do this anymore but look, coming back, nonetheless, Six of Swords reversed. I'm getting in my car, I'm turning around, I'm driving back. Um, seven of Wands, the, the Wands are down, the guard has dropped. Even with this depiction of the Eight of Cups, the Cups are smashed. You know, the likelihood of being able to go back and put these together seems incredibly slim. And yet, the Divine Feminine is saying, well, I'm here for it. I'm going to try. I've got my glue, I'm ready to go. Um... So maybe it's it's surprising right now to the Divine Feminine themselves that they are actually making a U-turn and coming back to this connection or, um, you know, even, I mean, there's a feeling that this connection, you know, never really went anywhere, but maybe they closed or tried to close their heart off to it. And now it's like, right, I'm actually opening the gate, you know, um, I'm emotionally opening up again to this connection. I'm choosing to emotionally reinvest here. Perhaps because, you know, it's like I've been doing my healing, I'm feeling stronger. Or maybe it's like I just don't feel good trying to resist this connection or push you away. Um, I'm listening to my inner voice and it's telling me to reopen myself to this. Strength, we've got Leo there. Wow, there's two of cups again. We have it here and we have it implied another two times. The Divine Feminine is feeling very much like this Divine Masculine is the one for them, but something about the situation right now, the practical situation is not ideal. I don't know if there's been a falling out, no communication, there are things in the way, something's happened, it's not ideal. I think the Divine Feminine is very ready to move past this, to reconnect, um, okay. We have the Hierophant, Taurus, we have the High Priestess reversed, Pisces, and we have the Three of Cups. There is a hesitation coming from the Divine Feminine, Death reversed, Scorpio. The Divine Feminine is on the edge of wanting this rebirth, but I do feel the Divine Feminine is not out there pushing and taking action and trying to direct. Maybe that was an energy that got them burned in the past. So they're, they're being more in this Divine Feminine energy versus Divine Masculine. Um, I also feel practically there is something here that's giving the Divine Feminine reason to pause. I don't know if the Divine Feminine is looking at their Divine Masculine as being in a commitment or a relationship. So they're saying, I can't approach that because, or I can't approach you because you've got something going on and it seems to be very firmly established. We've got the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. It could be we work together. So I'm very cautious about crossing that boundary, that crossing that line. I do feel there is some intuitive knowing here that the Divine Feminine might be slightly missing or misaligning with because of this hesitation or being logical or rational about it. Um, but yeah, there's a real feeling that the Divine Feminine is like, I'm here for a new beginning. I'm here for this. I'm open to this again. I want to resolve whatever has happened and begin a new cycle. But at the same time, the Divine Feminine is also saying, I'm hovering. I am hovering around. I'm not approaching. My guard isn't up necessarily, but 
I'm not throwing myself in either. And it's not really because of fear, because we have strength here. It's because of something I am seeing. I'm looking, I'm observing, and I'm seeing there is some structure or boundary preventing me from getting too close. And I don't know the ins and outs of this situation. The High Priestess is reversed. So I think I'll keep my distance to an extent. Let me see. Okay, clarify the Hierophant, please. I'm smelling something citrusy. It smells a bit like a bergamot or something, and it smells like a man's aftershave. So I don't know <laughs> um, if, if it, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a divine feminine who is thinking about the smell of their divine masculine or a divine feminine who is a man and wears something that's sort of almost like a citrusy kind of a smell. Yes, look, the Knight of Swords reversed with the Hierophant. The Divine Feminine is aware of something going on with the Divine Masculine that they're feeling like they need to... <sighs> mm. I don't know, uh, respect, um, something that they need to stand, that's making them stand back. Like I said, it could be that there's a work connection, it could be some it could be a structure it could be like crossing religious boundaries cultural boundaries it could be um the the divine feminine is seeing that the divine masculine is in another commitment another relationship and the divine feminine has no idea of whether the divine masculine is truly happy there if the divine masculine wants to hear it from the divine feminine so it's like right well I can only get so close and one of the things I feel I can't do is come charging in and speak and reach out and speak my truth even though I would really like to. Maybe the Divine Feminine feels they're getting absolutely no signs or indication from the Divine Masculine that it's a good idea to approach or that they want the Divine Feminine to approach. Okay, the High Priestess please. Death. Yes, so I think the Divine Feminine's intuition is saying, actually, it is safe for this new cycle to begin. So maybe it is safe to approach. We have the Three of Cups, let's see, Five of Pentacles, exactly. The Divine Feminine is feeling, perhaps, on the outside of things and maybe like that's where they have to be until they have a sign that it's you know things can be otherwise um this is interesting i just did a reading for scorpio um and there was the same feeling of there's something i want but i can't get close enough and i feel like i'm on the outside and i'm mentioning this because we have death twice scorpio energy with this five of pentacles so whether you are or aren't a scorpio or you are or aren't dealing with one you may find some messages in that reading as well um so i think that's what's going on with the divine feminine and it's so interesting i feel there's more of this reserved energy with the divine feminine now um there's more of this like measured practical approach yes of course the feelings are here we have the two of cups you know literally implied twice um this desire for a reconnection a new beginning probably starting off slower here being more careful more cautious but it's very it's very measured i just feel this divine feminine has been hurt or burned in the past and it's like okay um i'm just i'm just going to take this slow you know and um maybe there's more of say like a knight of pentacles approach versus a knight of cups or a knight of wands if you see what i mean um a, a, more of a balance maybe between head and heart as well um feeling less like they're being chased by time and they have to make something happen right now i don't i'm trying to i don't really know what the divine feminine is looking for though i don't know if the divine feminine knows because there's a definite feeling of there's, yes, of course, I've got lots to say, but I'm not going to say it unless I get some kind of indication that it's it's 
okay to do so. So I don't know if the Divine Feminine is waiting to receive a message, is waiting to see something or hear something, because I also feel the Divine Feminine is not going out of their way to try and gather up this information. Um, maybe waiting for divine inspiration, I don't know, but there's a real feeling of, uh, yeah, just a measured approach here that maybe wasn't here before. Okay, so let's see what is going on then with the divine masculine at this time. So what's going on for the Divine Masculine this week, please, Spirit? What's going on for the Divine Masculine? What's going on for the Divine Masculine? Three of Wands reversed, and I did see this when I was shuffling. Okay, so the Divine Masculine is wanting change, but feeling like it's not happening. Um... There's a feeling of longing here as well. Feeling like um, the action is not theirs to take, it's out of their hands. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> the Hierophant and the Three of Cups reverse. The reason I'm laughing, and it's not like a, oh, isn't this funny kind of laugh. It's like, um, oh my God, you know, like really, Kind of laugh. Um, the divine masculine is looking at the divine feminine as being involved in something, the hierophant, and being very content with whatever this is. So the divine feminine is very focused on work and finances, on pushing forward in some area of their life. The divine feminine is um, maybe in a commitment, relationship, marriage. Um, and is doing their own thing and the divine masculine is feeling like well they've moved on they don't want me to approach they don't need me um possibly seeing the divine feminine as um, open to communication yes but those soft page of cups feelings have gone is what the divine masculine is feeling here um, that if they were to come forward to the Divine Feminine with nothing to say except, hello, how are you? The Divine Feminine would cut their head off and be like, are you kidding? I'm busy. Have you not got anything important or relevant to say? If not, don't message me. You know, <laughs> that's almost what the Divine Masculine is um, thinking maybe of the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine also feeling like they are not any longer, they are no longer part of the Divine Feminine's community, that maybe the Divine Feminine no longer sees them as a friend or acquaintance or someone they have compassion for. Um, they might also be feeling like the Divine Feminine is working very hard on something, whether it's outside of the home, inside the home, whatever it is, um, so that the, so much so that the Divine Feminine doesn't really have time or interest in socialising right now and the Divine Masculine isn't realising that they are more, in, you know, they, they hold a position of importance to the Divine Feminine where even if the Divine feminine is um is very busy and maybe isn't hanging out with friends so much they would still make time for this divine masculine because maybe you know they don't consider the divine masculine to be simply an acquaintance or something like that so yeah the divine masculine is not realizing the importance or position of importance they hold within their divine feminine's life um they feel like they're not even considered maybe like an acquaintance or a friend or a friend of a friend or something like that Okay. So what's going on with the Divine Masculine at this time, please? Justice in reverse, Libra, feeling like the fact that this future they imagine with the Divine Feminine, the fact that it's not happening, they feel like it's very, very unfair. We have the Ace of Cups reverse, so this is what they want, a new opportunity. They could be thinking about karma, con consequences of actions, that sort of thing, whether they're thinking about their own actions, the Divine Feminine's actions, um, things that have happened around this connection that seem unfair. Page of Pentacles, so they want to make some sort of an offer here, give something to the Divine Feminine, say something, gift them something. They could also be watching the Divine Feminine very closely. Knight of Wands reversed. 
there's a feeling there's look ace of cups again there's been a change here um i don't know remember, remember how i said for the divine feminine there's an energy that's more measured like knight of pentacles not knight of cups or wands we've got the knight of wands here reversed the divine masculine sees and feels this change within the divine feminine and it's almost like an energy that they used to come towards the divine feminine in is no longer going to be appropriate um and there's a, a concern that maybe the divine feminine looks at them as a knight of wands and and has written them off because of this so because because of this and the divine masculine doesn't want to be seen this way it's like right i'll come forward with a pentacle something stable tangible something different i'll come forward in a different way but then the page offering one pentacle one coin to this woman here in the nine of pentacles might feel silly might feel inexperienced or out of their depth she's already got nine why would she want this silly little extra one well because nine plus one is ten. Ten of pentacles is the union, the community, the um, grounded, stable foundation relationship. So the divine masculine is currently undermining themselves and what they have to bring and the value of this coin in the eyes of the divine feminine. And because of this, they are holding themselves back because they feel the divine feminine will think they're silly, won't have time for them, won't see or value what they're offering. Okay. What's going on with the Divine Masculine, please? The Moon reversed. Pisces. Eight of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Wow. Did we not have the Five of Cups somewhere? Was it here? I don't know. Somewhere. I'm sure we had it for the Divine Feminine. Um, okay. So the divine masculine um, also is in a position, you know, where they're thinking more about maybe the possibility, um, trying to move on from the disappointments, wanting this to come back together, but holding off, not putting in the work, eight of pentacles reversed, because they feel like they're just outside now. They're outside of the divine feminine's orbit. Like they're not, they're not part of it anymore. Um, the moon reverse with the hierophant is telling me that the divine masculine thinks they know something about the D divine feminine that they understand something clearly but the fact that the moon is here at all is telling me they don't we don't have the sun we have the moon reversed so the divine masculine has the impression that they understand what's going on with the divine feminine's um life you know oh the divine feminine is so busy with work they don't want to hear from me the divine feminine is so happy in their relationship or marriage they don't want to hear from me um i don't know the divine feminine is so invested in their own journey of growth and transformation that they don't want to hear from me because i'm part of what they consider to be their past but it's a skewed um perception they've not actually seen the truth they just think they have so the divine masculine is wanting to approach wanting to offer something but feeling like maybe they wouldn't be welcomed um let me have a look at this three of wands reversed Four of Wands reverse. So wanting foundation, wanting um, something stable, wanting a commitment with the Divine Feminine. I also wonder if the Divine Masculine is thinking about foundations that they've invested in and that they don't want to be in them anymore and it kind of almost feels unfair that they have to stay in them. Yeah, the world traveling, leaving, moving away from these existing foundations, moving towards what they want, but feeling like what they want serves them and only them. It doesn't benefit these other people that are involved in this foundation. So that's what's holding them. And that's why it feels unfair. Okay. Hmm. Well, we know that's so that's what's going on let me pull a card guidance and advice for the divine feminine and then for the, the um divine masculine so whichever side you resonate with you can have a message of guidance so message of guidance please for the divine feminine Gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So I think the Divine Feminine is on track with um, 
not pushing forward, not trying to force any sort of change, and knowing that maybe they should be trying to receive at this time, you know, really embody the energy of the Divine Feminine, which is about um, being receptive. Okay, let's get a message from, sorry, for the Divine Masculine. Guidance and advice for the Divine Masculine, please. Wow, take back your power. Yes. Yes, it's not too late. Okay, good. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So quite clearly, it looks to me like the, the guidance and advice for the Divine Masculine is you actually have more power than you realise in this situation. You might think you see the truth, but actually it's not really the truth at all. Take back your power. Take the action you want to take. Make the changes you want to make. And the advice for the Divine Feminine is be open to receiving, whether it's receiving from the Divine Masculine, receiving from Spirit, the Universe, the Higher Self. Just be open to receiving. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. So I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.